be quite a while since you landed an SST. Just let's say it's part of the personal service. Shadow Control, this is Seagull X-ray. Confirm arrival, Stevenson Base, Los Angeles, 0835. Takeoff scheduled, 1100 hours. Roger, Seagull X-ray. Call Moon Base, will you? Yes, sir. Status check. Target. Affirmative. Magnetic field. Check. Saturation density. Green. Resonator. Affirmative. Code. OK. Displacements. Go. Filters. Check. Fluctuation. Affirmative. Reflex. Excuse me. Right. Shadow control for you, Lieutenant. Right. Lieutenant Ellis. Good morning, Gay. I think I might have some action for you. Now, I want Moonbase put on yellow alert from 1045 to track Seagull X-ray. Now, it's carrying shadow VIPs on the Utronic equipment. So let's keep everybody on their toes. We can't afford to take chances. Roger. Joan, announce a yellow alert for 1045. Yes, Lieutenant. And complete the status check. I think this is going to be for real. I'm going to take a break. I'll be back about 10.30. OK. Moon base will be on yellow alert from 10.45 Earth elapsed time. Repeat, 10.45 EET. All space trackers to be fully operational by 10.45 EET. Astronauts to be on standby. Joanna? Be right with you, Lou. No hurry. I want to run a computer check on the interceptor systems in about 10 minutes. Hi, Gay. Hello, Lou. Do you think this could be it, Lieutenant? Looks like it, Lou. An SST traveling at Mach 4 is a pretty tempting target. Particularly as it's carrying the new Utronic equipment. So, Mark. So this time it could be real? Yeah, it could be. Well, I guess we could all do with a bit of action. Well, I could do with a cup of coffee. Sure. Thanks. Stevenson Base, this is Seagull X-ray. Liftoff check complete. Liftoff clearance. Roger Seagull X-ray. You are clear to go. You know? 10.45. Right. Brakes. Off. Airspeed building. 130. 140. 160 V1. VR. Rotate. This 
is Moon Base calling Sid. This is Space Intruder Detector. Pass your message. Seagull X-ray carrying VIPs and neutronic equipment is airborne. Track progress of aircraft until further notice. Keep sharp lookout for UFO. Please pass your code so that your instructions can be complied with. Stand by to receive code. Standing by. Thank you. Your code is correct. I have Seagull X-ray on scanners. It is on course. Speed, 1,500 knots. Moon base computers confirm course correct. Airspeed, 1,500 knots. Right. Maintain tracking. Put Skydiver in the picture. Yes, sir. Message from Shadow Control, sir. Yellow alert at 10.45. Right. Red alert. Red alert. UFO 428 146 green. Got it. 428 146 green. Speed. Solid. Trajectory termination. Coming up. This is Moon Base to Shadow Control. Predicted trajectory termination, North Atlantic. Speed, Sol 8. Going for intercept, out. Interceptors, immediate launch. Interceptors, immediate launch. Interceptors, go. Right. UFO sighted, 428-146 green, will report. Attention all defense systems. This is a maximum security alert. Attention all defense systems. I say again, this is a maximum security alert. Condition red. Interceptors one, two, and three. Moon based to interceptors. Stand by to set missile control computer. Right. MCC reading 
1-0-1-2-6-4-1-1-0. Missile timing, 2-4-9-6. Missile program completed. Range, 8 million miles closing. 7 million miles. Missile firing, 5 decimal, 4 seconds. Gentlemen, Miss Lake, Shadow Control have just informed me that a UFO is approaching the North Atlantic. I'm afraid we must assume that this aircraft is its target. I'm going to reduce height in order to gain the advantage of cloud cover. This will mean we'll have to reduce speed, but of course in the dense atmosphere, so will the UFO. Presumably that increases Shadow's chances of intercepting it. Yes, it does. I'd fasten your seatbelts if I were you. In position, sir. Right. Five, Stand by. Four, three, two, one, zero. Launch stations. Launch stations. Clear one. One clear. Clear two. Two clear. Ready for takeoff, sir. Okay, lift off stations. Lift Check off boosters. stations. Checking boosters. Circuits. Cut boosters. H pulse circuits, okay. Checking boosters. Relays, okay. Good, let's give her thing. Interlocks engaged. Stabilize gyro. Trigger circuits, okay. Right. Stand by for liftoff. Shadow control from Sky One, airborne. Position 020, red. Roger, Sky One. Airspeed down to 600 knots. Right. Lower heat shield. Right. I don't like it. These clouds give about as much cover as a G-string on a belly dancer. Sky one to Seagull X-ray, over. Oh, Peter, am I glad to hear you. What's your position? Right above you. Level off at 20,000. Sky one to Seagull X-ray. Have you four on screen. Closing rapidly. Roger. 10 degrees port. Right. U4 at 12 o'clock. You are the target. Coming into attack. U4 
Careful, Ant, at Cloud Lair. Keep a sharp lookout. Roger. to shatter control. Reporting direct hit on you folks. We're gonna crash into the sea. start. Hello, Nina. Hello, Colonel. How's everything going? Fine. Good. How are things with you, Joan? Fine, sir. Is that your report, Lieutenant? Yes, I think you'll find everything's in order. Sure I shall. Shall we continue? situation might need reviewing. I'd like to see the level kept about 20% higher. Funny you should say that. Straker asked me to get your ideas on the subject. He had the same idea. Hi, Colonel. Hi, Lou. What sort of times are you making on the interceptor launches, Lieutenant? About 125 seconds flat. That's pretty good. Well, that about wraps it up for this month. I'll report a clean bill of health. Fine. I have a possible sighting. We'll relay details of speed and trajectory. I have a trace bearing 062415 green. Confirm sighting, yellow alert. I repeat, yellow alert. 
Good luck, Mark. Okay, let's go. Red alert, red alert. Confirm unidentified flying object. This is moon base control. Red alert. Repeat, red alert. Interceptors, immediate launch. Interceptors, immediate launch. Our checks A OK. Interceptor two, our checks A OK. Interceptor one, our checks A OK. Switch to radio link four. Onboard computer wave band zero six eight. Confirm speed zero decimal sol eight. Bearing three four two. 047. That's it, don't lose it. Based interceptors have the UFO on positive track. Speed Sol 0, decimal 8. Speed Sol 0, decimal 8. Bearing 342047. UFO maintaining course. Predict interceptors in range 51 seconds. Control to leader. Roger. Missile launch, five seconds. Four, three, two, one, zero. Our visual contact with explosion. Detonation positive. Do they get it? I still have a contact, Lieutenant. Double check. Positive. Predict UFO on collision course with interceptors. Impact, 32 seconds. Control the interceptor two. Alter course to zero two four two zero one. Impact. 14 seconds. Interceptor 1 to base. Request new course. 1 to base. Request new course. Control to interceptor 3. Alter course to 024186. 9 seconds. Interceptor 1 to base. Request new course. Control to interceptor 1. Alter course to 024. Two, one, eight. It's too late, Lieutenant. Coming one, coming one. Impact confirmed, interceptor one destroyed. 
why, Alec. You've read the report? Yes. An astronaut killed. A UFO through the outer defenses. The report tells me what happened. Now I want to know why. I don't really know. Oh, come on, Alec. I know you better than that. Things happen so fast. Meaning? I can't be sure. Well, look, I'll settle for an educated guess, Alec. The error could have been human. A decision was taken, it could have worked, but the point is, it didn't. Right. I want the personnel concerned. The two surviving astronauts and Lieutenant Ellis back here on the next moon flight. Lift off, 32. Don't give me that crud, Mazden. Find it. If you need more aircraft, appropriate them. Yes. Yes, I'm giving you the authority. Yes. Right. Right. What now? The moon base personnel are here, sir. Send them in. Now look, Alec. I know. I know. You want that UFO located? Yes. Bradley, Waterman, Lieutenant Ellis, I assume you know why you're here. I'd like to say something, sir. As interceptor leader, I want to accept complete and sole responsibility for what happened. Very gallant. Yes, that's a very brave gesture. But out of line. I know what happened. Now I want to know why. You people were selected because of your outstanding character as well as intellect. What went wrong? Anything from those satellite shots? No, sir. Well, keep looking. It's got to be there somewhere. Did he say anything else? No, just that I'd been cleared, and I was scheduled on the next flight back to the moon. And us?
He's the one he needs looking at. Oh, don't worry. You can't hear a next glass case he calls an office. Tell me something. Does Shadow have anyone checking him out? If they did, it would probably be a computer. <laughs> Central Control will give you all the details, but the transporter will be loaded and ready for takeoff at 2100 hours. Fine. Oh, uh, one more thing, Alec. Dr. Schroeder has finished with the moon base personnel. His report is quite clear. I'd like you to handle that, too. Right. I'll do it before I leave. This is the way I want it done. Mahogany. Table. Graph. Green. Laugh. Cry. This is an interesting reaction. Watch this carefully. Sunrise. Morning. Black. Black. Bird. Blackbird. Blackbird. Oh, yes, yes, good. A 2.04 second delay. You could see her mind racing. She was consciously avoiding giving the standard answer. White. Look at the stress factor at that point. Five times normal. And your conclusions are based on that? My conclusions are based on eight hours of exhaustive tests, 20 years of experience, and the conclusion formed by the computer. That example was one which I thought even a layman might understand. I'll leave you to it. Come in, come in. Now, I'm not going to waste time with the details of this report because you'll be given copies of it. But I'd like to read you its conclusions. One, taking into account the circumstances at the time of detonation, it was clearly the duty of Lieutenant Ellis to decide the type of evasive action to be taken. On that count, Lieutenant Ellis is cleared provided that the decision was in no way influenced by emotional factors. Which brings us to point two. The three personnel directly concerned were subject to standard psychiatric and psychocomputer tests with the following results. Astronaut Lou Waterman, clear on all counts. Astronaut Mark Bradley, emotion count 0.48 paranormal, clear on other counts. Lieutenant Ellis, stress factor 1.28 paranormal, emotion count 0.35 paranormal, clear on other counts. Three, these results are attributed to an emotional attachment between Lieutenant Ellis and astronaut Bradley. It ends with a confidential recommendation as to what action should be taken. Well, we'll just have to hope that this thing sorts itself out. Meantime, Strake has given you separate postings. Bradley, you'll report to Moon Base. And me, sir? Shadow Headquarters, Earth. Just crossing the Atlantic Sable. Speed and altitude are way down. The moon base interceptors must have damaged it. Right. Alert Sky One. That's it. Shadow HQ, Skipper. They've located the UFO. Be right there. Lift off stations. Yes, sir. Good luck.
Stand by for liftoff. Leveling off at 10,000. This is Shadow Control. UFO 48 miles from your present position. Thanks, Control. I have it on the scope. Visual contact, closing for attack. Sky One is shadow control. U4 destroyed. Nineteen eighty four. I wonder what it's going to be like in twenty years' time. Will the computers take over completely? Why don't you ask them? They seem to have all the answers, even now. We build them, program them, and they tell us what we're going to think before we know it ourselves. You better make that phone call. Drager, it's for you, Alec. Freeman. Well, when did you find this out? Well, you know what it means, don't you? Right. No, no. Now leave that with me. Yeah. Bye. Mark Bradley. Important? He thinks it is. Well, it looks like you were right. You and your computers. <sighs> oh, by the way, Alec. Uh, would you tell Lieutenant Ellis and astronaut Bradley that they're to return to Moon Base immediately and assume their normal duties? That's not what the report recommended. Uh, not the first report, no. But this report analyzed the flight paths, and it shows that had normal procedure been followed, we would have lost all three interceptors. You mean her decision wasn't influenced by immersion? You tell me. See you.